action. We always thought that there was something very different about this kid. When we had a piano at home and I would come home with my nursery rhymes, Aubrey at three years old would take the lyrics and he would change them. I realized that other kids just didn't do that. But you tell your mama, white boy, you stayed out at the park too late and you can't call her when you get in this shit. This shit too deep to call your mama, white boy. Being an only child, I always had him in a lot of activities, whether it was day camp or whether it was group activities, hockey, a lot of things where you'd have to learn to be a team player. Shit, I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect from, you know, the other two guys that I'm constantly, you know, up against, which is like Cole and Kendrick. Mm. I was in this program called YPT, which is Young People's Theater, but it was really just a bunch of young kids acting really hyper, and then like we'd throw on masks and call it a play. Whatever, I guess the parents thought it was cool. When Aubrey was um, about five years old, I took him to this agent, uh, and she really liked Aubrey. So he did print work, and uh, which his catalogs, and he did a couple of commercials. Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. <laughs> Drake, <laughs> Drake, the nigga that got body by Pusha T, the nigga that hiding his kid from the world, but his world went hide from the kid. <laughs> Aubrey Graham in a wheelchair. Drake! Yes! <laughs> How do you been there tonight? Lay Miz was the first thing that people actually uh, liked, I guess, and people actually came to see and clapped for a good reason. They're not like, yeah, it's over. Like, good, let's go. Y'all niggas better stop playing with me. <laughs> Y'all talking about the light skinned nigga from DeGeneres? From Toronto. Yo, stop playing with me. From where? <laughs> the grassy. Stop the playing me like I ain't teach Drake everything he know. Hold on, you taught Drake everything he know. Y'all ain't hear Drake on his first song. Tell me what's really going on. Drizzy Drake back in this thing already. What's that? That's oh. me. What's really going on? Drizzy Drake back in this thing already. What's that? That's oh, soldier. Shit. Hey, I would have never thought. Listen. What's really going on? Soldier boy up in this thing already. What's happening? Tell me. I got the studio mic set to my height so I can just blow a little if need be. I've been a mess since every girl I left went and got a new man, but I'm the new version of Fresh Prince. And the band's got bumped for real. I switch wifey every season like Uncle Phil. And then the chorus drops. So that was a little verse. Oh, that's that nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He opened for Jay. That's that nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Yo, that's that nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Yo, that's that nigga. From Toronto to Tennessee, a town to stay down. Oh, KKK. New Drake album coming soon. You see that? You like that? That was, uh, that was my grandmother shamelessly promoting the new Drake album, and that's my middle name and also my performance name, so thank you, Bubby. Hold up, hold up! Ooh. We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. Uh, man, I appreciate do you think that. the white folks should sing the radio edits of Marvin's Room? Um, I think I said it last night, you know, it's it's one of those things. Now, I, 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 you know, I definitely don't want to be the guy that promotes the the use of the word um, amongst, you know, I don't think there's anybody that necessarily really deserves to use it. I mean, I think we've all established that it's mm. not the greatest word in the world, but, you know, at the same time, it's a word that a lot of us just grew up with in our vocabulary. Apparently they've been auditioning for Degrassi for a whole year or something all, at, at all these schools in the city. So it was the last three weeks of auditions and he got in. I was gonna wait till tomorrow. I think you might need this now. Yeah, it doesn't really yeah. get to me. Yes. You know, last night I even said like, you know, where's all my real niggas at? Yes. You know, and I was yeah. like, you don't have to be black exactly. to make noise. Just I, make some I noise. Can I just personally thank you for putting yeah, me in? Did you go in? <laughs> I went in. 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 I went in.
me waking up from a nap, I just realized BBL Drizzy called his mommy on me. Uh, he shared their text messages between each other. Ah, uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the niggas. What about Big Booty? Um, for me, I just, I mean, you know, I hate going to the gym and doing cardio. It's my least favorite thing. Right. So I try and get it elsewhere. Oh. With that being said, I like to work a little bit. Exactly. You know what I'm talking I, about? I so I need a little, I need a little, I need some shape there just so I could really get some. For the, the cushion for the push. Some good work in. Exactly. You know? And booty. I'm not a fan of the bike or the treadmill, so I try and get it in on I, the bed mill. It, exactly. You know what I'm the saying? The bedroom Olympics. The bed mill. E exactly. The yeah. bed mill or the booty mill yeah. to be quite precise because it <laughs> might. You niggas with them BBLs, you niggas, I'm speaking specifically to you niggas with BBLs. If you got a fake body, you got a fake mind, nigga. Actually, uh, that is, that's my dad. That is your dad. And that's like a, sort of a normal Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. No, my dad's actually in, uh, my dad's in uh, Shanghai right now and he uh, FaceTimed me yesterday and he was like, uh, Drake, uh, man, I want to tell you, man, I got a, I, I, I got an RV for sale, man. And I was like, what does that have to do with, what am I, and, and I was like, <laughs> He's like, man, I'm in Shanghai, man. My friend got this RV for sale. I was like, do you have any sort of idea of what's going on back home? Like, do you know that I, like, I dropped this album? And he did, like, <laughs> a million. And he goes, I'm doing well, he, he, goes uh, he goes, yeah, man, man, I love it, man. I love it. I, I, and I was like, oh, what's your favorite song? And he's like, Drake, man, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. My service is not too good out here, man. But, <laughs> Okay, he said nigger. I thought he was going to say nigger. But he said nigger with an E-R at the end. We ain't no niggers. Niggers are from slavery time, my mans, okay? So, um... We don't want to hear you say nigger no more. The greatest American alive.